introduce myself. Name is like Yagami, say it just how it's spelled. I'm still in school and even though the grade I'm in is 12, I got the drive and the IQ, I will change the world. See, I found this weird book, now it belongs to me. I touched it and I saw a creature called a Shinigami. His name is Ryu again, it seems he is the god of death. And when your name's scrolled in his book, you'll take your final breath. So now I'll use this book to make the world a better place. Wipe out the criminals with all their names on every page. With this power, I will now become just like a god. Even though I wear the clothes that look like Spongebob. So let's dive into this reaction now, finally. Um, I'm going to make sure that things are looking right on the, uh, the screen there. And I'm going to read chat off my phone. And uh, we're going to... Now that chapters 3 and 4 are essentially done, we're going to ride into the reaction here. Uh, wow, that was frustrating. <laughs> that was not cool. I, uh, I'm not a fan of that. So, cool. All right. Let's dive into Art of Darkness. I appreciate the Disney-esque uh, sweeping in of Tinkerbell, although it's Alice Angel, so that's... Uh, uh, quality is not supposed to be max 48, 480p. Um, I uh, have been messing with the settings and... That's unfortunately the best I can get it to be. I want it to be higher. It's just not listening to me. So if that's as good as it's getting, I'm sorry. There's not a lot I can do about it on this end, unfortunately. So sorry. I, I, I'm I not... This is why I don't stream all that much. Um, is because some settings I, I have issues with. So sorry. But anyway, let's get into this reaction finally. Yes. Oh, hello. My name is Joey Drew. You must be here to learn about the wonderful world of anime. Hundreds of drawings just like these go into every minute of your favorite bendy part. If you can dream it harder, more. So I think the the bendy cartoon going on on that piece of paper there was from one of the original videos. Well, yeah, Cells No More is just a is just a lyric video, so it was from the Find the Keys video. And having him play Joey Drew here, of course, is perfect. Uh, so there's lots of animation puns. We had a lot of animation puns in Find the Keys, so it's to be expected to have some here. Dream it! Dreams, dreams, dreams! They eat oranges come true! Well, hello, Bendy! And that's the magic of creation! If you want to keep your space on the can, they can don't go favor! <laughs> Go downstairs and visit Bertrand, and uh, oh, here comes the ink demon taking over Joey. That's disturbing. A lot of stupendium. Just a pencil and a drink could cheat death itself. Now that is a beautiful and positively silly thought. <laughs> Meet your maker. I'll tell you later. It's either scene has us careening down an elevator. Must have been dreaming to think we'd make a clean escape. I doubt the one machine here could make it past a regulator. Yeah, we we just did this part where I I almost died in an elevator. Instead, ended up staring at Boris's junk. Game glitches are fun. Uh, and the line coming up, swear we never had this many levels, I'm guessing, in the building uh, of the animation studio. Yeah, I never thought that. You suddenly were building underground and all of that. That's... Whew. Then we never had this many levels. Where's the excavator? What's so scary about a library and a record player? <laughs> What's so scary about a library and a record player? Uh, so far, a lot. Um... The record player, and it was in the library where uh, all the lost ones were gathered around that statue of Bendy. We just played through it. It's, uh, I do love this Disney-esque font, too, because, you know, that's what Bendy's playing off of. Early, old-school animation, especially Disney. So, good times. You guys hearing the song okay? Boris, meet your maker. Henry did create Boris, so God puns. 
All right. And the angel and a baby more dilapidated. This is kind of tasteful. Alice, tell me who's your decorator. <laughs> Yeah, the library was nice until you had to push all the books in and started having hallucinations of arms coming out of the wall at you. If I make a lady wait, I guess you'd say that I'm a player. Angel wants a date, and I would really hate to wag her. Yeah, no, you don't want to piss uh, Alice Angel off. That is, that is not the face of someone you want to mess with. Beta virus, don't you worry, I will never let us separate us. Hold you, where'd you go? Damn, guess I better go and save her. The whole point of the chapter I played. Yes, so it's basically the end of chapter three and chapter four here. Uh, so uh, chapter three is not entering this song at all, apparently. That was probably Cells No More, which was me doing the fetch quest to find all the crap for Alice and then her dropping the elevator that I'm in. Cool. Things that heck and up my pal is gonna medicate a fallacy. The tree with the biscality to generate a rap against an animator. Alice, get back on your paper, rhyming on the multiplayer. My lyrics work on several layers. Ooh, that's good. Rap against an animator. Rap against an animator. Alice, get back on your paper. Alice, get back on your paper, rhyming on the multi. Rhyming on the multiplane. That is an animation device. Uh. I'm not. I think that's the camera at the top there, uh, filming through the thing. So you have the different layers of the animation. You have your background, and you have your your animation cell going through. And you, it's very hard to explain, but that's it's an animation device. What they used in the old school animation beyond uh, what they do now digitally. So neat. Multiplayer, my lyrics work on several layers. Lyrics work on several layers. Rap against an animator. He's the several layers of the multiplane. Uh, bravo. Yes. If you thought the game was really a problem right now, well, the angel's on the stage, so pipe down. If there are secrets that you want to find out, how about the machine and ride those pipes down? So and pipe down, ride those pipes down. Plus, you're carrying a pipe as a weapon most of the time. I see what you're doing. You're on the path of the starving artist, but at the heart, well, the art is heartless. Ever seen a masterpiece get discarded? Start and depart for the art of darkness. Wow. Wow, that's a great chorus. Let's take that back a little. Seen a masterpiece get discarded? Let's take it back a little more. Find out how about the machine and ride those pipes down. So you're on the path of the starving artist, but at the heart, well, the art is heartless. But at the heart, the art is heartless. Because she's been cutting out all of the Boris's hearts to make herself beautiful, or whatever. Because all the rib cages were open when uh, when we were seeing them. And, uh... Ah, that's disturbing. It's good stuff. Never seen a masterpiece get discarded Start and depart for the art of darkness All of the deep dark depths below three mirrors Spanner and a wrench and a thirst to quench. A spanner isn't a spanner a wrench? <laughs> um, so a wrench and a wrench. Uh, this is all the lost ones singing it. All the disturbing things that I had to weave my way through. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Wow. There's the fissure, which I fought, the one who throws his head at me. Cool. Uh, don't worry about it, Knuckles. Go take care of your important stuff. Uh, these, uh, Electro Devil, these are videos I've never seen. Uh, I, I don't react to things that I've already seen, uh, because I, I want my reactions to be a first impression reaction, and usually doing so in doing a first impression reaction, I may miss things. Uh, but that's because it's the first reaction, it's the first time I'm seeing things. That said, it's a more honest reaction to it because it is the first time that I'm seeing it, so you're getting the genuine feelings about it uh, as I'm viewing it in real time. Uh, Susie came from a family of butchers, so she was able to open up animal carcasses without damaging what was inside to take their insides and make herself perfect. Gross. Uh, it's a very specific type of wrench from England, a spanner. I, I figured as much, but yeah. Yeah.
That line right there, giving you the willies as I'm stepping off my steamboat. Obviously a reference to Steamboat Willie, the first Mickey Mouse cartoon. Um, and, you know, where he got his fame from and all that good thing. Uh, obvious reference. Okay, so, beheaded by a clod and replaced by a rod, a fishing rod, is where his neck shouldn't be and his head is on the end of it. I have some deadly black spots for the clod who left us below. He's gonna ink him, is what, yeah. Animator dead by a, uh, what he designed? Funky with the head, Henry, can you see the headlines? Animator dead by an enemy. By an enemy he designed, which is a great line for both an animation and a video game. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, yeah. I didn't realize that uh, the Piper was a monkey. He's got a plunger for a foot, I'm seeing. That's... Enemy he designed! Once was an angel who swallowed a spider, it wriggled inside her, and out came the striker. Who'd have thought your silly little villain for the children would be killing the heroine, so there we not die. I love the different voices he's using for the different characters. Uh, all, the, all the different voices they're using uh, to play each one and, and the different accents that they're using. Spot on amazing. That I, This one fits the best, I think. I, I dig this one the most. If you want the demons were your problem right now Well the angels on the stage so pipe down If there is secret that you want to find out How about the ink machine and ride the So Boris's I'm guessing that's Allison in front and Alice Angel in the back, Susie. So yeah, that's wow. Spikes down, so you're on the path of the starving artist But at the heart, while well, the art is heartless Ever seen a masterpiece get discarded Start at the part for the art of darkness oh, There's no need to be scared now I hated this game <laughs> We just played this, I hated the shooting game because of the lag That was, that was a pain <laughs> oh, It's all the fun of the fairground That was fun. And I would say I'm on fairground Ooh it's all part of the fairgrounds. I would say I'm on fairgrounds. That's that's a, that's a good flip. I love when he he uses those double meanings of of like idioms of you know being on fairground, but being at a fairgrounds, being at a, an amusement park fairground, but being on fair something even keeled fairground, uh, being on a, a level setting, uh, having that duality word flip on on idioms but also using them for their other meanings too uh i guess they call them similes uh you could call them that or or other things uh, i'm babbling at this point now i like them is what i'm saying uh not canonically accurate animated red by an enemy he designed since henry left before the butcher gang came to be true there once was an angel who swallowed a spider a nod to the little old lady who swallowed a spider yes true Striker play on Little Miss Muffet. Yes, very, very true. Take a little revenge now. Oh, and now he's Bertram. Oh, good. Bertram's tantrum. Everybody's heard of Bertram Piedmont. Because my work pertains a certain free son, a hurtling free wall, disturbing demons are out of season, so must you keep on. <laughs> are you caught in a spin world? It's a shame. Oh. Are you caught in a spin, Wurlitzer shame, that your organs and limbs... A Wurlitzer is sometimes a jukebox where you spin records, but it's I think Wurlitzer also make piano organs. Uh, so, uh, pun, stupundium again. Your organs and limbs will be lost in the ink. Well, it's awfully grim. Did you want to be him? What's a better man than you... Did you want to be him, Walter, better man than you've ever been, Walt Disney? 
Sorry, Joey. Yes. Good stuff. It's a downward spiral time. You felt a little hell up in the helter skelter. A little hell up in the helter skelter. Uh, uh, helter skelter. A Beatles song. Also a reference to Charles Manson. Also gruesome. So, yeah. All right. No hell pot shelter. Board the ride. Don't you know you've got to be this tall to die? <laughs> You have to be this tall to die. That's a great play on having to be this tall to ride. And, you know, the fact that the ride is trying to kill you and has a face inside of it. Sure. Pantomime, pal of mine. Almost a pal of mime. The mime is a terrible thing to waste. Cold, so much along to the count of four, a stone, the scoundrel crowd, you've drawn, left stranded and down to the spine, like conformed to a band, and his ear was an act of war. I guess that's what those, the, the, the gang looked like before they were altered. Awful to think you'll be back the north. We've ink, but no malpractice for. <laughs> We've ink, but no maltractus forms. We no forms to sign for the fact that we've been altered. Uh, we have the ink to sign with, but no nothing to sign on. I like that. Wave your flag and renounce these halls. That's some amazing lines in this in the hook. Oh, good Henry, you never gave a crap before. Till we trapped you down neat the factory floor. Oh, oh, belong to the rapture store. Three rounds down and back for more to find the key. Three rounds down and back for more. I'm guessing that was the three phases that Boris goes through that I did not complete because uh, F that boss battle and having to fight with the lag and the controls. <laughs> to find the keys in Chapter 4. Nice. It's a reference both to what you have to do in the game and also the first song from Bendy that he did. Genet putter belly time? What is happening? Uh, okay. <laughs> He's in chapter four. Remind me, where have you heard that before? Yeah. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Remind me, where have you heard that before? Find the Keys, Stupendium's uh, song that, that brought them notoriety and uh, then revisited uh, with the remastered version that came out uh, back at the beginning of April. Uh, bravo, all of that. Good stuff. Right That's a an interesting, almost Monopoly Man version of Bendy. It looks like something else, and I can't quite place it. <sighs> the Angels and Demons, just so good. Boris as as Hamlet. Okay. Well, the heart is heartless. Never seen a masterpiece. Get this And, okay, she's uh, almost doing the Mona Lisa there. So the, the artwork is being uh, used as both the art from the game and also, or the, the cartoon, but also as works of art. These works of art are being discarded. That's the masterpieces. Yeah, that's good. I didn't catch what the first two were referencing, but yeah, it's good stuff. Monsters popping off of Nosferatu's rostrum. Holy crap, that's a tongue twister. Nosferatu obviously being the person who did a lot of predictions about what was happening in the world or what was going to happen in the world. Uh, I'm not quite sure what a rostrum is, uh, and I can't quite look it up right now because my phone is in use, as is my computer, but I'm sure someone in the chat will tell me after this is mood moving. Moan Alicia. Good. That's good. Uh, and thank you very much for that, Knuckles. Uh, and, uh, Midnight Bon Bon for the, for the pun. But after this, my Oscars will be posthumous. Oh, after this, my Oscars will be posthumous. Meaning, uh, he'll be dead. Henry will be dead, the main character. That, I'm assuming that's Henry doing this verse, because a little subtitle popped up with that. 
Uh, and uh, that means, you know, posthumous meaning you're awarded an award after you're dead, so your Oscars will be posthumous. Great. I live for my work, but I die to stop them. Stationary should be stationary, shouldn't talk back. <laughs> I need a shrink, I'm on the brink, the ink is thought back. Thought that the apocalypse was supposed to live on horsebacks. Thought that the apocalypse was supposed to live on horseback, meaning the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Great lines in here. There's a lot of, a lot of idiom flips going on in this that I'm really enjoying. Ooh, that deliverance was hidden in the raw shack. That's all, folks. Keep dreaming. Deliverance was hidden in the raw shack. Wow. That's a great line, number one. Rorschach being an inkblot test, meaning that everybody sees something different in an inkblot test. Um, and it's just whatever you're, you're, you know, you feel like you should be seeing in that, in that thing. It's not actually meant to be something specific. Um, I don't know what, what this pertains to, but it looks like there's a chair in the center of this Rorschach. Deliverance was hidden in the Rorschach. I don't know what actually was, was meant to be there, so. Okay. Uh, rostrum, plural noun. Rostra, plural noun. Rostrum is a raised platform on which a person stands to make public speech, receive an award or medal, play music, or conduct an orchestra. So when uh, Nostradamus was opining about his predictions with standing at a rostrum. Thank you very much, darn nice guy. Uh, nice. Okay. That's uh, Alice reaching out of the painting is honestly the best part of the vid. Uh, stipendium isn't done anything else flex on everyone both with lyrics video skills and spitting those tongue twisters no one could copy them absolutely true uh, speaking of production value if you have not seen the toy box yet holy crap obviously uh, so much work put into that and it is phenomenal uh, screw that Ian 20 minutes ago yeah <laughs> sorry to have gotten real there folks <laughs> Nosferatu, the monster, not the poet. I was thinking Nostradamus. Yeah, okay. Nosferatu is, is Dracula. Or not Dracula, but he's a vampire. Did he say Nosferatu in the song and I was thinking Nostradamus? Really? Did that happen? Did I really mess all of that up? Thank you, chat. Thank you, uh, Lee, for for the correction. Okay, now everybody's saying it. Draco, Cheap Rip Off Productions, uh, Emily, Yes. Nosferatu was a was a, a horror film about vampires. If you've not seen Shadow of the Vampire, which is a comedy about the making of that movie, go watch that. It's amazing, with uh, Willem Dafoe as Max Schreck, the the actor who played Nosferatu, who could have been an actual Nosferatu according to that movie. Very funny. Uh, it's a great movie. Deliverance was hidden in the Rorschach. The inkblot is supposed to be of Beast Bendy, which you'd see in Chapter 5. Yes, I also kind of figured that because there are the horns at the top there of the image uh, and the eyes being kind of covered. So, uh, yeah. So it does... It, it, it works both ways. That's... Uh, cool. All right. Ah, well, it's the, I figured it was the end of the song. We only had a couple seconds left, but... Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the cartoon. And wow. a huge thanks to all the generous folks over on Patreon for keeping this dream train a-rolling. If you enjoyed the show, then why not check the playlist I don't know more? why there's captions on here. But of course, be sure reason. to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that little old bell. Or you can even check out the merchandise or the Patreon if you like. This still doesn't have enough dreams. Dreams, 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 if I have to tell you one more time! <laughs> it's the dream machine. All right. So, that was that. Uh, that was amazing. I'm glad to have finally watched that. Uh, whoop, wrong button. <laughs> ah, I hit the wrong thing. Oh, uh, that was great. Uh, I did miss the bread line line. Sorry, like I said, first impression reaction, some lines zip past me um uh this was this was really super fun um uh if i enjoy great writing i'd love a purpose for new london uh is that a comedy song just curious um thank you everybody for joining me for this this was super fun uh i i am in desperate need of actual food and uh i have to leave for somewhere soon so Anyway, I think we're going to call it 
for the day. Thank you so much, everybody, for subscribing and commenting on the videos. I really appreciate it. Uh, your support means a huge amount to me. Uh, I, I'm at 12,000 subscribers now. Uh, this is the second part of the 10,000 subscriber thing, and I got, you know, a whole other 2,000 subscribers between December and now, so that's fantastic. Thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, thank you for not a comedy song. Okay, understand. Uh, probably won't uh, check it out on here, at least. I'll check it out on my own, but not something I'll do a reaction to then. Uh, thank you for helping me through the game, everybody, and uh, Ashley for being my Sherpa. Um, oh, it's a Stupendium song. I didn't, I wasn't aware of uh, Purpose for New London. Is that is that the Frostpunk song? It's, uh, I'm not sure what game it is. But anyway, yes, thank you for the congratulations, Ryan. I appreciate that. Uh, thank you, everybody, for liking and subscribing and, and checking out the videos. Lots of stuff coming up in the next couple of weeks. I'm um, going to try to do another Patreon poll if you're part of my Patreon about a next Stupendium song to react to that I haven't done yet. But, uh, yeah, thanks, everybody. This was super fun, except for that boss fight. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Thanks. Because I'm young and a genius, I'll take this way too far.